Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you had a great weekend. Sorry I missed last Friday's upload. Um, doing five videos a week uh, gets a little tiring, a little exhausting at times. So sometimes I may not hit that mark. Uh, maybe in the future I may cut that back down to maybe four videos a week. But right now I'm going to still try and do the five videos a week. And we're going to start this week off with another beer video. In this video, we're going to be trying a welly on with Wellington Brewery. Yeah. This is what I'm going to do first for you. It's the SPA. These cans to me aren't really appealing. I, I don't... When I see this, I don't want to drink it. I have had one of these beers before. Not this one. It was um, another one by Wellington. And it was the Imperial one. And that one I was not a fan of. Uh, so we're going to try this one first before we turn it over to Upside. This one I'm a little bit excited for. It's supposed to be a little bit tropical and juicy. So we're going to go with this one first. It's a 4.5... Uh, SPA, so we'll see what it's like. This color's not what I was expecting from this can. I guess I was expecting more of a lighter blonde, but it's almost like a red. It's like a dark blonde, light red. I don't know what you'd call that. All right, here we go. It's not bad. This is a lot better than the Imperial. I like this one, that's good. I was expecting a lot worse from that one. So let's get into some fun facts about Wellington Brewery. This is Canada's oldest microbrewery, which was founded in 1985, and it's in uh, Guelph, Ontario. Another Ontario beer on the channel. That almost doesn't even taste like a beer, it's... I don't know, I like it. Do you wanna try it? My opinion is about it's starting to change on it. It's a little weird. I don't know. It's not the same taste, I don't think. It's like it's changing throughout it. I think there's just a lot of stuff going on with this one. And every time I sip it, I guess something different. It's a little weird how... It's like every time I take a sip, my opinion changes on this one. I don't know if that's normal on beers. I've said this in a previous video where I feel like the beer sometimes changes through the time you drink it. But I don't think I've ever had one that's changed as much as this. It's almost like every sip I'm getting something different. And it, it, it fluctuates. Like sometimes I like it. Sometimes it's not the best. But it is still better than their other beer I've tried. You know what it almost tastes like? It tastes almost like uh, uh, if you've ever had like one of those store brand Cokes. It almost tastes like an alcoholic version of that. <laughs> Which I don't mind. But a lot of people will not like it. So I'm not saying it tastes cheap. But it has that same almost flavor, almost uh, feel to it. It's another one of those beers where I just don't mind it. It's one I'm not going to go for. But if someone offers me it, I will drink it. Alright, so that's the first one down. Again, not terrible, not great. I wouldn't go for it. I had Imperial by Wellington, and that one was a lot better than the Imperial. So next up, we're going to do the Upside by Wellington Brewery. This is what I'm excited for. It looks a lot different from the other cans. They still have the Welly up on the blimp, which I like. I like this can a lot more. It looks more appealing. And something I didn't mention on the other can is this one, uh, they're saying is try a Welly on, and I love that. That is one thing I do like about the the branding of all this is try well you off find it cool creative so this was a 6.8 beer we'll use the same glass hope it doesn't affect hope it doesn't affect the taste that much that was just I messed up got a lot of head on that one so if you look at the color on this one it is a lot lighter a little bit more appealing to maybe the eye of beer drinkers if you're more of a light guy anyways or blonde I like the look of this one don't get the tropical feel from that yet, but if you've seen my other videos, you know my smell is not that great. Alright, we're we'll giving that a go. Yeah, we're gonna give that one a second. I don't know where I feel yet. I think the the other beer is still in my mouth a lot, so I'm not getting the proper taste on that one. Either that or they both taste exactly or a lot alike. We'll give that one a couple seconds. Okay, I think I got the taste of the other beer out of my mouth. So we'll try this one again. 
No. I don't get tropical at all. It's almost thick. No. <clears throat> Not a fan of that one. You excited me. And I'm left with disappointment. It's almost like... It's thicker. It's like a thick beer. And I'm not saying that by taste. It's like the texture is thick. And I don't like that. I got a bit of the tropical there. Not much. It's not heavy on there. Yeah, it's just not a great beer. I, I don't like it. I'm going to try and finish it though. I don't like wasting drinks I don't like. It's very, very rare. I won't finish a beer once I open it. Even if I don't like it. I'm getting more of the tropical now anyways hazy sure we'll call it that juicy all right it's uh it's not my cup of tea or pint of beer and it leaves not a nice aftertaste in your mouth either even this one it, it left a bit of an aftertaste not as strong as this one but it was an aftertaste i didn't like that much i mean i just had to drink water to kind of get rid of it and this one the aftertaste is still in my mouth. You can see my face still reacting to that aftertaste. So even though I did miss my Friday upload on Saturday, um, I started a podcast with some friends of mine. We are based in the Ottawa area and we are all football fans. And I mean soccer, not American football. And we just started a podcast that would be based around Canadian soccer, the CPL, Ottawa's new team. So if any of you are soccer fans, go check out that podcast. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check out that. Check out that. Check out that pod. And you'll also see a playlist of other podcasts on my channel. So if you're a soccer fan, go check that out. So this beer was one of the first Ontario craft beers to get tall boys into the LCBO. The LCBO, if you're not inside Ontario, is where we get our liquor and uh, you get beer there as well. In 2011, though, is when they introduced this logo. The boot. Or the welly, shall we? And it was in the year 2000 where the slogan, Try a welly on, was released with the brand. And that, to me, is the best thing about this beer. I'm starting to think I was supposed to drink this from an actual welly. Do we have one? The one thing I do like about this company is when you go to the website, they offer a whole page on the history of their beer. And not just, like, the beers, obviously, but, like, where they came from, how they started out, and all this stuff throughout the years on how they've changed. A lot of companies I've had troubles finding stuff on because they don't have that information on their website or anywhere I can personally find it anyways. Oh, I feel like my face is going to get stuck like this. Like, I can't stop reacting to the taste that's left in my mouth from this beer. Again, though, I'm not wasting it. I will drink it. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting used to the taste now. Because that's good. Ugh. James, no more bloody beers with a welly on it. My God. Alright, so that's the video for the wellies. This one, decent, not terrible. This one, not the greatest. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back again tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe up here. Don't forget to leave a like or comment down below. Let me know if there's any beers you want me to try. And I'll definitely go out there. I've been thinking of doing a White Claw beer. Or whatever White Claw is. I'll try White Claw for you guys. And if you want to check out another video, you can check it out over here. And if you want to check out the video I did on Saturday for the podcast, check it out over here. You guys have a great one. I'll be back again tomorrow. Bye.